Hey guys, this is Jason Matthew from Trinidad and Tobago and welcome to the Biochem GM YouTube channel. So today I'm talking about an extra credit assignment. That means it is not compulsory, it is up to you to do it. But if you do it, you can get a maximum of 5 marks based on the quality of your answer. And it's due on November 30th. So what do I want you all to do? Well, in 50 to 60 words, to keep it short and sweet, state something that you have learned about metabolism from your biochemistry course. Now, this is the important part if you want to get your credit. You have to write your response in the comments section of this YouTube video in order to get the credit. So please don't email me it or anything like that. Please put it in the comment section of this YouTube video to get the credit. Um, I think it's a really nice idea so that when you go through the comments at the end, it could be a great revision tool for your final exam. Now, when you're making your comment, please state clearly the course code. Give either your name or ID. Don't give both because then, you know, you're going to be giving out a lot of information there. Remember, this is on YouTube. It's public to everyone. Okay, but you have to at least give me one idea, name or a ID, so that I can identify you and give you the mark. And here's the catch, guys. It has to be a comment that was not made by someone previously. So you can't give the same comment twice, in other words, right? So we should, we should cover the whole syllabus at the end. Now, this is an example of, of one. So it means that you all can't talk about this, not that I have given it out. But as you can see, you put the course code, in this case, by all 2360, your name, Jason Matthew, give the topic that you're going to be talking about, so that's carbohydrate metabolism, subtopic if you can, so it'll be more specific, so I'm going to be talking specifically about gluconeogenesis in carbohydrate metabolism, and the fact that I'm going to give is that pyruvate carboxylase is an ABC enzyme. And what do I mean by an ABC enzyme? It uses ATP, biotin as a cofactor, and carbon dioxide to convert pyruvate to oxaloacetate. This reaction is the first step in the first bypass reaction of gluconeogenesis and takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. So you see, I've given a nice, short, sweet, little piece of information, a little piece of knowledge there. And if we do it well, it's going to be a great revision tool, as I said. So as usual, guys, study hard, study smart, like, subscribe, comment. Talk to you soon.